All right, guys. So, um, back at some more adventure map stuff. Um, kind of going to go a little different technique. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work something out and <laughs> show you guys how I got it. Um, this in here, this layer was a little too long. It was looking a little unnatural. So I just went through with the melt tool, which is uh, B space E space melt and just right click and there it goes what is that doing well it's it's running a little slow right now uh, but it just melts that area as you can see and uh, pushes it back also I extended this out a little farther uh, just did the fill down command with stone and then um, did the overlay three deep with sand again but I did something else and I'll sh this is what I want to show you guys how to do uh, this right here this is going to be the perimeter where the sand is this is where um, we're gonna have this wall here now right now the wall is only at 100 height level 100, 114, or no, 101. So, um, but we're gonna take that up probably two times as tall as it is right now. Um, wanna get you guys feeling like when you're here um, and, and you're surrounded by a wall that's twice as high as that, you're in a very massive hole. Uh, that's the plan, but I'll show you guys kind of what I did to get this so you go We're gonna do the voxels again Beast face V Set the box. Uh, let's clear the brush first always clear your brush um, B space V enter set the voxel to sand and Brush size set to three. That's good. So sand <clears throat> That's that's a uh, the reason why I use sand for this is because um, what it does is, as you can see right there, it fills in all these little holes. Uh, it's just going to continue falling down, and um, just basically uh, filling in any gaps. If you went through with stone, you could potentially create some gaps that are going to. Um, cause problems for uh, mob spawning or whatever so just go through like this and uh, I'll get a little more sand laid out here and then um, I'll come back show you the next step of this I also want to mention while I'm doing this um, you want to be definitely careful where you point if you're if you accidentally off click over there it's gonna put a hole in the world um, so and also it's the reason why I'm doing a brush size of three is this is the size you get I think maybe this one I might have done five but if you do three you get a little more of these jagged lines in here which help with making the mountain look a little better uh, like you can see there this and, and with that being smooth right there I'm cool with that because uh, because it's gonna be you know you want it to look somewhat natural um, it's not gonna be perfect you know so you can have some areas that are smooth some areas jagged whatever but that's why we're going with a smaller brush size it's a little more time-consuming it's a little more of a nuisance but uh, as far as the look it does the trick um, also where you place you can kind of judge how the mountains gonna look like let's say if I click out here uh, what that's gonna do it's gonna create sand that's gonna fall on the front and make this front side look taller um, if you're wanting it to look like it's taking a little dip inward um, you can click back here back and then it'll it'll kind of create that for you also the height of where you click is going to kind of determine about where the blocks are going to start falling from so um, since it's a brush size of three I think it's three blocks above where I click so 
that's how that works. So I just wanted to explain that real quick before I moved on. Okay, so next. So you've got this sand wall here, right? Looks very strange. Um, but the next thing you want to do, you want to try to get it to where it looks more natural like this. And I still have to work on some of this. I will, but just for the sake of what we're doing here. Uh, but if I believe, I haven't really tested it out, but I'm, I think the fill command, well, let's try it. Uh, now, nah, this is what I want to do. This is just a better way of doing it. So B space E space fill. Nope, that's not it. B space B space MM. Now this is a material replace. So we're going to replace sand with stone. Uh, then now you got to pick your parameters. So um, VR, whoop, phone. VR, this is the material you're going to replace, is sand. And V, the one you want to replace it with, is stone. And brush size 10 is good. And then just be careful because wherever there's sand, it's going to get replaced. So if you see, see how it replaced it there. Let's go with a brush size of 20. Warning. It's all right. Like it big. No, that's no good. <clears throat> Too much. Brush size 10. Got that, and then so basically, you can once you get your edges figured out. There we go. This runs a little slow because of fraps for me right now. Usually, it runs a lot smoother, It'll, it would run better for you guys. Um, so, you see what it's doing. You're basically painting on um, the sand texture, and then here you just boink, boink. or painting on the stone texture, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, just go across here. Any sand we see, we make sure we get it. Get ya. Oh, there's some down there. Took care of that, and then we'll go to the back side. Boink. And there should be some back here. Um, whoops. If you're holding shift and right clicking, nope. There we go. Screwed up, I think. Yeah. Shift and right clicking on a block uh, sets that replace material to that block. So I accidentally did it to stone. That's just a little shortcut that kind of becomes a bit of a nuisance. Um, hey, guy, change. There it goes. It's just lagging a little bit. So we get the whole backside here. Got it. Okay. This, that big square right there, I'll work on that. <laughs> that was actually a mistake I had made where <clears throat> I had set the, the voxel size for the sand way too big. Um, okay. So we've got our stone here, right? And now we want to do B space, E space, fill. And we just want to fill this. Bring this out like that. Just clicking and dragging. Clicking and dragging. That's what I'm going to do over here too, is pull, the, pull these out a little more. That makes that look a little better. A little more natural. Very good. Okay. And then we'll go through with the you, whatever direction you drag it is where the where it's going to fill. Then you go through with the B space BB. This is whoops space. Let's turn that phone off. Goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> this is the blender ball, uh, and this kind of just blends out the textures to make them look a little more natural again. So um, that's the purpose of this brush, and that's kind of too obvious looking there okay that's cool very cool let's bring that down a little bit okay clicked outside of my range it's okay so 
that's basically how you do that. Not bad, huh? And uh, we'll go through, I, you know, this, this stuff can get worked out. And because um, this extremely sheer, or, uh, oh, yeah, sheer, I guess that would be cliff versus this. Doesn't look extremely natural. We'll get it all done and then work it out a little better. We've got a little problem here. Let's check this out. Now, oh, just a piece of stone missing. Boink! Fixed. Um, but let's get kind of an overall perspective. I want to do this from time to time just to get an idea of how it's feeling. Yeah, just at that height, it feels pretty massive from here. And we're going to double it. We're close to double it. So, very cool. What I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this ring off. And I'll be back with you guys. Because what we want to do now is I want to have it. Let's say this is the top. I want to have it then come back in like this. This part come back in and create a roof over this and put a hole in the roof and have possibly have water running down to make this feel like it's an underground huge hole. Not 100%. Going to work it out. But um, So I'm going to work this out and then I'll be right back with you guys. It's going to take me for freaking ever. All right, so um, change of plans, <laughs> kind of, from what I told you earlier. So I told you to do the voxels, you know, voxels is a good way to get a decent landscape or whatever. Um, yes, kind of. Uh, this turned into like a two-hour deal, getting it like this. And I know there's got to be better ways for sure. Uh, I am no pro with this, but there are tutorials out there and there's a cheat sheet and whatnot to help you get where you need to be. Um, but for the sake of my time, what I decided to do is I changed the uh, I changed it to a uh, a ball. So what it is, it's it's B space ball. And it's sand, you do, you know, V space sand, and then uh, brush size of 10 is what I did. Um, let's do it there. That's fine. That's fine right there. This height is up there. It's not all even. We'll square that up. We'll square it up. Don't you worry, you cute people fall I'm surprised it's not lagging more than it is right now um, we'll get you there and fall to the ground this is very it's lagging hard let's stand on this oh, oh that stayed okay <laughs> um, so that finished it out for me um, so let's set the time today and let's fall down. Those light glitches are still there. Not sure what to do with those. But we'll get an idea for the scale. So, massive, right? Very massive. Um, very cool. So, now we want to do our whole stone thing, right? Um, so, space, slash B, space, B, space, M, M slash VR sand slash V stone and brush ah! I took my phone off silent crap I didn't even think okay so I think we're still on 10 right what's the brush size well let's get this lower part taken care of first and this beach down here is very uh, flat. We will square that away as well. Don't, don't you guys worry. All this stuff we can touch up and fix later. Um, just paint it on, paint it on. Paint in the stone around here. It's just lagging so hard right now because I think I've, I've wore it out pretty good. And from doing that with sand... 
Um, I get so many duplicate sand blocks on top of each other, and what that does is it puts like a sand block down. Um, get on there. It puts a sand block, like an actual item, a sand item down. Um, and I think there are probably thousands of them. Uh, let's see. Entities. How many entities? Just one? Hmm. Maybe they're all gone. Maybe I'm the one causing all the problems around here. It's probably my fault. All right. Get those little guys. And that looks good all the way around. So, then what we'll do, we'll set the brush size to, let's see what 30 does. Yeah, that's good. It's lagging. <laughs> Come on. It's a lot. I mean, my fraps isn't, my frame rate's not dropping, but you can see it's taking a while for it to update. Um, but I think that goes a little faster than actually doing it, um, doing it, you know, 10, a 10 brush size. All right, clean that up. Where's some other problems? There's one, clean that up. And clean that. Oh, it already cleaned itself. Clean yourself. And let's see if that gets the whole thing. It might. It might. Come on, do it. Missed. Missed. Clean them up. Missed. Very good. Miss those up there. I should take care of those. And those. And we'll just get it from the top side too. But, so, as you're looking at this, it looks very flat, right? It's just very flat. doesn't look great. So, um, what I will do then is I've got some plans here. Well, first, let's do this. Uh, B space E space fill. And we'll do our little fill command here. We'll pull these guys out. All right, come on. Don't be sh don't be shy with it now. Come on. Come on. And some of these we'll have to fix, like that. Problems like that. But that's no biggie. Come on. Okay, yeah, get a little sand in there is okay. That looks a little more natural, you know, so I'm cool with that. All right. Very good. Bring it all out. Uh-huh. And we can go over, of course, as you know, this looks kind of unnatural, so we can go over with the other brush and kind of smooth it out. Come on, farther. Farther. It's good. Oh, I left my volume up. I'm not using my headphones here because I keep taking them out and putting them in. And it just got annoying. So you were probably hearing uh, the music through my speakers, which is probably a first, I'd imagine. I don't think that's ever happened on my channel. Um, okay. Come on. Come to Papa. Okay, that was a nice one. That's a good one. Very good. And then we ju we can just keep going like that. Keep pulling them out farther. Come on. Very good. It's good. It's looking good. It's looking better. Um, but an idea I have, and you'll have to bear with me. This will kind of be... Uh, a first try here. It looks okay, right? It looks okay. Um, let's do this. Ball. We're going to do the balls. Voxel to stone. Okay. And brush size. Let's try seven right now. And let's throw one. 
there. Did it go? Where is it? Dude. Oh, I might have to clear my brush. I, I keep saying, always clear your brushes. V, ball. Alright, V, stone. Brush to seven. Alright, now let's try it. There it goes. Okay. Now these look like crap, but if we do a little bit of this, um, B space E space F I L L and fill them out a little bit, right? We follow. And then I'm just working with something here. Let's see. That's getting kind of a flat face edge to it but then let's do a let's bring that up a little more that down just trying to make it look more natural right see how it's casting those shadows too that's pretty cool um, keep going keep going Uh-huh. Meet up with this guy. Become friends. Okay. Come on. Make friends. Okay. That's okay. And then if we go B, space B, B, blender ball. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Set my voxels there. That's always something, man. When you write, you can't be shifting when you're doing this. Um, let's go down and take a look. Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't look too great. Um, but I will have to figure something out. I do like the shadow that it makes. That's pretty cool. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just this is a little, little too much for my taste. So let's do... Let's do this. Let's go. Uh, clear. B space ball. And V to 1. And we'll do a brush size of 3. Whoops. Okay. Get that on there. Get that on there. Get that there. That there. Put some nipples on there, huh? What do you think of that? That helps it, right? <laughs> oh goodness, goodness sakes! We just—I think the flat edge is what was causing the problem. So we get rid of that, and we call it a day. <laughs> it's not bad though. Okay, so we did that. Now let's put some on top of some. This is one of those things where I said I would figure it out before and then show you guys. But we'll work together on this one. We'll see about getting this one together. Okay, and then, you know what? I like what's happening here. If we made this even more of a cliff. Yeah. Now we're doing something. Very good. Happy mistakes. Very good. This will be, this will act as kind of, it'll look more like a cliff now. Alright. And then, time set zero. And then if we go through with B space BB. Mm 
Much better. I already like it. Now let's get this done and then step back and take a look. I'm going to get all those little nipples off of there. Alright. Yeah, that looks better. And look at the shadow it makes. It's craziness. That's cool. So, that has to be done quite a few times all throughout. That will help us a lot. Um, but an easier way to do it will go clear, B, space, ball, uh, V to 1, and B to 15. And if we do here, there, and there, now we've got something that is a little bit bigger and a little easier to work with. And then we don't have to be doing all that stuff we were just doing. Um, we'll make it quite a large cliff. That's good. And then let's see how we can how we do with just this. Um, maybe just a fill on it. Um, no, I don't think fill is a good idea. B space E. -E. No. Let's just try a blender ball and see what it does. Nope, that ain't good. So B space E space fill. Okay. Pull that into that, make it look a little more natural. Very good. Now we're getting one of those again. Getting a dimple. Gotta fix that. Whoops. Voxel set to stone again. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Um, that one on the bottom is no good. So B space, E space, melt. Let's get rid of that guy a little bit. It looks like I've got a little light glitch there, so it seems like maybe there's a hole there, which is awesome, actually. Let's tuck that in. Tuck it in on the corners. That's much better. Very good. We'll tuck this side in a little bit. And we'll melt the bottom sides of these. And that's already fixing our problem from up top. So that's cool. Very cool. I like it. I like what it's doing there. Alright, let's get this side worked out too. Um, it's a little too much. Get it from the top. Right, that's very much a ball there. <laughs> so we'll melt them down, melt you down a little bit. Very good. And then now, we'll blender ball it. Blend it in with the terrain a little bit. Blend it all together, very nice. Oh yeah, yeah, very cool. I like what this is doing. We got something here. You blend with that. Become friends with each other, very good. Uh-huh. I like what happened there, very cool, very cool. Okay, so, that's very cool. It's a little fat, so maybe uh, cutting out the top would be good. Maybe a little more melting on the top side, because that just looks, almost looks like a, like a spaceship or something. I'm trying not to cut through the wall here. 
and very good. This is better, much better. And this is just giving me an idea as well. Um, what is the command again? Um, oh, fill water 20. Undo, undo. <laughs> oh, come back to me, baby. Are some of the water blocks staying? Whoa, hey, water, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yep, I broke the world. Can I swim in this? I sure can swim in it, but it's not real. It's having a hard time going away. That's a problem. Oh, look at these sheets of water. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness sakes. Um, let's try it over here. Uh, fill water 10. Maybe that's a little better. That is much better. Okay. Could just go through with the water bucket. This is an easy way to kind of fix some things up. Right? Just get within reach. Spam it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't set a depth on that water either. Well, I guess I didn't need to. It's all good. Okay, let's see what this looks like here. Ah. Yeah, that water's taking forever to clear up. <laughs> oh, maybe it never will. Maybe I gotta fix that. But judging by those waterfalls, now those waterfalls are cool. I like those. Yeah, this water right here might never go away. Um, so I think the command is, um, what is it, what is it, what is it? Oh. Um. This ain't source blocks, this is just craziness. That cleared some of it, huh? Drain and then you hit a radius and it gets rid of it. Okay. Alright. Now get out of here, you freak. Screwing up. I think this other water's touching it and messing it up. Could that be? Yeah. I gotta get it right at the where it's having problems. Okay. Okay, that cleared that. Very good. Well, this was a mistake. Just be careful with your water. That's all I can say. Oh. Um, let's do it right here. Oh. Fricker. Get in the middle. That got a bit of it. I got a better chunk of it. <laughs> oh, good. Great. Well, there you get an idea. That looks pretty cool. Um, but what I'd like to do next is put some water or some dirt in. Of course, get more of these cliffs in. These shadows are awesome. Get some more cliffs, um, and then possibly, here's a technique, um, well, it's the overlay technique, so B space over, um, depth, we'll do three again, and now let's clear our brush, B space over, D3, and then 
Um, voxel set it to dirt. Okay, so here's something. Let's just take a look at this. Hmm. Looks kind of like a bird pooped on it. That's what it looks like. Okay, cleared it up. Maybe if we put some grass on it. Ooh, look at the smiling, crying mountain. <laughs> it looks like a cliff just with a smile, but crying at the same time. It's adorable. Yeah, I jacked that water up, didn't I? Jacked this place right up. Come here, guy. Oops. I want to get this fixed. I'd love to see what this looks like. And Let's just do this at 30. That'll fix it. At a 30 radius. That almost got it. Now, did it screw up this water? You can fall, guy. It's okay. Now, let's get this. It's taking a long time to go down. Um, now we did it. Now we did it. Now we're talking. Okay, that looks better. And then put a little pool down there. Whoop, fix, fix this water. Screw that up. All right. Slash fix water. Fix. Problem solved. All right. Almost. We'll get that spot. Um, time set zero. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty epic. Pretty epic indeed. Let's get over here on the beach. Yep, that looks very cool. Very cool. So through there could be an entrance to a, to a place, possibly. But... Um, I'm going to get thinking about what's next on the agenda. This might be an end of the episode. If not, I'll be back in just a little bit.